Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you root apps that will give you full control over your phone and allow you to customize your phone like hell. And this video is the most requested one on this channel. So let's just dive into the apps. The first app here on this list is Substratum Theme Engine. So by the name, it's a theme engine which allows us to customize how the phone looks and feels. Generally custom launchers do that, but this app takes it even further and allows us to change stuff like navigation bar, settings menu, components that show up in the screen. The accent color here in my Google Pixel is orange, which is blue by default. So you can download theme packs for Substratum theme engine from the Play Store and then apply it using this app. You can also choose for which element, which theme you want. So just look up this app in the Play Store and see if your device is currently supported. Next up, we have got device control. So this app adds a bunch of features and allows us to monitor and make changes in phone's hardware like CPU, GPU, screen. So from the processor option here, you can tweak its clock speed, which means you can increase it for performance or decrease it to save battery. And from here, you can also choose what mode you want your processor to be. The same can be done for GPU, but do note that not all CPU and GPU allows this functionality. Next in device option, you can tweak other hardware that's supported like here in this case, I can change the intensity of vibrator sensor. Tools contain features that allows us to uninstall system apps and uninstall apps in baths. Tasker here allows us to automate things when a certain task happens. So I can set it up to reduce the clock speed whenever I turn my screen off and speed it up when the screen is turned back on. Wireless file manager here uses Wi-Fi to display files in Android phone to computer same as if the phone has been plugged using a USB cable, you will be allowed to copy and delete files easily and wirelessly. In the information tab here, you can see the CPU and GPU spec. You can also view how long the CPU was at a particular clock speed. The next app on this list is Greenify. So Greenify is an app that lets us hibernate apps. Hibernate means that the app will not work unless you require it to, saving your battery and increasing performance. So there might be many instances of app running in your background that you might not need. And this app identifies those apps and then you can add them to the hibernation list. And if your device is rooted, this app is more efficient because it can automate things. You can also make your device enter those mode in minutes. So normally if your Android was not used for a longer period of time, it would go into those mode, shutting down many operations. So just try this app, I'm sure you will see improvements in your battery. The Viper Droid app here allows us to install our own audio drivers that will give you more control on audio and improve it. The installation process can be slightly complex depending upon your device. A simple Google search with your device name and Viper Droid should help you out. The app is also available in Play Store, so if it doesn't work out, just Google it. Once you have installed it, you can enable certain features and try it out yourself to see which one sounds the best. You can set different settings for speaker, headset and Bluetooth device. Uh, there are different features that you can enable or disable. And this tool here is used and loved by many audio files because it actually does improve the sound quality. And for best results, you can import settings off from internet created by expert users. I'll try to link some of them below in the description box. Next on this list is Wake Lock Detector. So this app detects what caused the screen or the CPU to wake when you are not using the phone. Then it displays the accumulated data to you. And using those statistics, you can improve your battery. So if the list contains any app that you really use, you can either uninstall it or you can use Greenify that I talked about earlier to hibernate it. Here in the data, you can see how many times any app was open. You can see data from screen wake CPU wake. So to use it perfectly, first of all, charge your phone to 100% and then use it for a day. And before the battery dies out, look up at the stat. Next, we have got a pretty big app called ROM Toolbox. 
So ROM Toolbox is sort of like device control app but with more complex tools and cluttered UI than what we saw in device control. So from this tool tab, you can flash zip files, manage apps, browse root apps, you can uninstall them, and there's even a terminal emulator to run scripts, which is basically for advanced users. You can also manage app that loads up when the phone boots up. So if your phone takes long to boot, removing unnecessary app from this list will speed up the process. Next in performance tab, you can change your CPU speed, you can change system values like what amount of memory can be filled with dirty memory, how long will the memory hold unused objects. The build prop editor here also has tons of options which will allow you to change LCD density so that you can fit more items in your screen. You can also change the Wi-Fi scan interval which will help you to save battery. The SD booster option here is supposed to increase read and write speed but for some reason in my phone it does not work and it just crashes. And at last we have got visual tweaks which allows us to change font, boot animation and there is also a theme chooser to change the theme and UI of your phone. But this feature might not work depending upon the device you have. So as I said before not all features will work as you expected. And if you want a more cleaner and easier version of this app, stick with device control. Next on the list is SDMade. So it's a storage manager which will free up space by scanning your system and removing stuff you won't need. This app also works without root but, but with root permissions it's more efficient. So in this side you have Corpse Finder, System Cleaner, App Cleaner. It will find files that you don't need and allow you to free space. There's also a scheduler which will automate tasks and once you set it up you don't need to worry about this app will find unuseful apps and delete them. And for some app that you use the most, having those files in cache and other places does speed things up. And for those apps you can add them to this exclusion list. But for the rest, it's not worth to store them. And the statistic tool here keeps track of what amount of space was freed. The next app on this list is Automatic, which is an automation app similar to Tasker feature we saw in Device Control app, but it's more powerful and easier to use, which is another reason why I like this app. There's a great tutorial section for beginners and a lot of automated tasks for the ones who find it difficult to come up new one when trying it out for the first time. Tasks include turning Wi-Fi on or off based on location, enabling and disabling aeroplane mode based on time, creating an automated task or flow as called by this app is very easy. You just need to select a trigger like when you are receiving a call from a particular person, you can increase the ring volume to full. So even if your phone is in silent and you receive a call from an important person, the phone will ring. The forum link in this app has much more creative and useful implementations. The next app on this list is Drive Droid. So not all people might have uses for this app. What this app does is it creates separate partition out of your internal storage which then can act as a thumb drive when inserted using a USB cable. In that partition you can install an OS and boot from it whenever you want. And the process here is very simple and the phone is still able to run normal operation while being able to mount the partition in PC. Now we have Add Away. So it's an ad blocker for Android that removes ad from the entire phone. If installed correctly, it should remove ads from every app. If it does not, look at their web page, they have got tutorials on how to make it work. The installation process should be simple, just download the apk file from the link below, install it, then download the required files and reboot your phone. In Chrome, it should not be working because of the data compression issue, but there is a workaround, if you google it, you will find it. So that's all about this video guys, as you can see, routing has a lot of benefits. 
and which apps among this list do you plan to use on a day to day basis and if there is any other app that you would like for me to check just let me know in the comment section below. So that's it about this video guys. Do subscribe for more and see you guys in the next one.